Hi friends. I'm just letting you know that I was going to introduce you to my animals today. I spoke to some of you on the phone last week and it was so good to hear your voice and hear all the fun activities you've been doing. Please continue to look on the Facebook page to do the activities, to stay connected through Tadpole, to um, go and pick up your education packets and listen to your families and wash your hands and do all those fun things. But anyways, I'm going to introduce you to all of my animals today. I have two cats, two dogs, and a fish tank. So I hope you enjoy. Here is my fish tank. Um, we have quite a few goldfish in here, a silver fish, an algae eater. There's the fish from my classroom. Um, it has a theme to it. There are some characters in here that you may or may not recognize. The fish keep knocking them over, so some of them are kind of hard to see, but they're in there. Um, I have to take care of these fish. I have to take care of the animals daily. The fish tank, we feed the fish um, daily. We clean the tank when needed. Um, the fish are following me around right now because they think I'm going to feed them, but I already fed them today, so I can't overfeed them because that could hurt them. But this is the noise you typically hear in the back of my videos. So there's the fish tank. Okay, everyone, here is my cat, Midnight. We've had her for probably about 14 years. She's a very sweet cat. She likes to cuddle. Um, she doesn't scratch people. Sometimes she'll smack people with her paw, but with her claws inside. But that's Midnight. Midnight. This is Furball. She looks very much like Midnight. However, she's a little bit different. Her, <laughs> she is Midnight's baby. Um, Midnight had her in 2006. So, uh, she is a little bit, she's about the same age as Midnight. But this is Furball. <laughs> And she's a good kitty. You can hold her. You can sleep with her. She likes to go under the covers with you. Right now she's irritated because she was sleeping and I woke her up. But that's Furball. Furball. <laughs> this is Mogwai. He is a puppy. He'll be about, sit, a year old in June. Sit. He is a Corgi Terrier mix. Uh, he's pretty small. I don't know if you can see my foot. <laughs> he's about the size of a small or a large cat. And right over here is Zeus. I'll introduce you to Zeus next. But Mogwai's playful. He likes to jump around. Um, he cuddles. And he's a good puppy. And this is Zeus. We have had Zeus for about nine years. So he's about nine years old. He's a Border Collie Boxer mix. He's a very good boy. He listens. He'll sit. He'll lay. Lay. Good boy. He'll give me a paw. Paw. He shakes. He has lots of things. He just likes to sleep all day. So that was all of my animals, friends. I hope you enjoyed meeting them today. I have many responsibilities when taking care of them. Um, my children help out. They do many things. They help to feed them. They help empty the cat boxes. They help me to take the dogs on walks. There's my son <laughs> and Mogwai now. They um, play with the animals because they need to be played with. Um, they help us in grooming them. We never overfeed them. We give them treats. Sometimes they need medicine. Sometimes they have to go to the doctor. But animals are a big responsibility. Um, you should only have an animal if you can take care of it. I would say the best first pet would be a fish so that you can learn to take care of them. Um, read about how to take care of them and make sure that you don't forget to do all the things that they need done. But anyways, I just wanted to remind you, you are safe, you can handle this, and I miss you very much. See you soon. Bye.